Breaking news in the heezy for sheezy. One, two, testing, one, two. One, two, testing, testing, one, two. Testing, one, two, breaking news, everybody. Um, I want to thank you all for tuning in. This is um, breaking news. As you know, uh, the Brianna Taylor and they over there tearing up Kentucky. You know what I'm saying? The Negroes is over there tearing up Kentucky. You know what I'm saying? The same way the Negroes was tearing up the city with George Floyd. The same way the Negroes was tearing up the city which with every um, incident that happens. You got to understand that. Yes, uh, Breonna Taylor was shot and killed by the police. That's understandable. You understand? But you got to understand that the elites... Um, how can I put this, um, hyper, um, promotes or builds off of this. This same way they at least build off of the Michael Brown. The same way they at least build off of, you know what I'm saying? The elites is playing you guys for a joke. For a joke. Now, you know what I'm saying? Rest in peace, you know what I'm saying? Brianna Taylor, you know what I'm saying? She shouldn't have been shot. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not saying anything wrong against Brianna Taylor. But what I am saying is, if you are going to stand up for Brianna Taylor, then you should stand up for every black woman in America today. If you stand up for Brianna Taylor, you should stand up for every black male in America today. Because it's black people all in our communities that is getting killed. Now they over there tearing up the city. Because I guess the police officers was not being charged. And you are in your the land of your captivity. So you shouldn't expect anything from your enemy. But Israel, yes, sir. Well, how, how idiotic, and well, I can't say idiotic. It's the it's the way our people are just lost and confused. They don't know. The Bible says my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. They sitting up there bridling and protesting. They expecting something from someone who is designed, and designed this earth to destroy you. The prison system designed to de destroy you. You know what I'm saying? The child support system is designed to destroy you. The welfare system is designed to destroy you. Everything that you see in America is designed to destroy you. And the people that put it together is the people that you are demanding equal rights and rights for. It's, it just don't make sense to me how, you know what I'm saying, how ignorant my people is. Do you not understand that you're in the land of your captivity? Do you not understand that the only way that you are going to rise is if you come together as a people and you worship and you serve one God? Not Allah, not Buddha, not damn, you know what I'm saying, them Egyptians gods, not the Elamite gods, which are, you know what I'm saying, the East Indian gods. You know what I'm saying? But the most high God, Ahia, is who we are supposed to serve. And we got to come together as a nation. We're not a nation. Have you seen the, have you seen what happened this morning, Brother Israel? Actually, it started last night. There was rioting and there was throwing bottles. Police was. I didn't, I didn't see it, but people were posting about it on Facebook. I seen a post. Yeah, po I heard uh, po th three police was shot. Wow. Okay, that's going a little too far. And you know what this is, right? This is nothing but... Let me tell you something. Because they was planning for this whole thing three days in advance. 
the elites. They had the barricades up. They were planning for this whole thing. They knew what was going down. And, and, and you know what I'm saying? And it don't it won't surprise me if they had their agents to start the fight. You know, the agents start the fight. The agents is the one that's, you know what I'm saying, there, you know what I'm saying, uh, throwing the rocks and throwing the bottles and shooting the police. The agents is there doing that. And then once the Negroes see the agents doing that, the Negroes is going to follow suit. The agents going to pull back because, hey, the agents have started the fire. The Negroes are going to keep going until either they're dead or locked up. This is propaganda to destroy you, Negroes. There is no way uh, in America that you are supposed to have any type of equalness to anybody. You supposed to be above everybody, not equal to everybody. If you wanna, if you wanna get technical with it, because we are that chosen nation, we are that chosen people. So we are supposed to be above all nations. All nations are supposed to be catering to us. What happened when Jacob and Esau came out? What the Bible says: the elder shall serve the younger. Who's the younger? The younger is Jacob. Who's the elder? The elder is Esau. So Esau is supposed to serve you as well as the Africans supposed to serve you as well as the Chinese supposed to serve you. The Elamites, which is the East Indian, supposed to serve you. The Arabs is supposed to serve you. All the nations are supposed to serve you, black brothers and sisters in America. They're supposed to serve you. Not equal. But you fighting for equal? Somebody done told you wrong. Let's go ahead and get that report, Brother Israel. Before you read the report, people, let me tell you something. I'm only going to use this channel right here just for breaking news as of this incident like this. And other breaking news incidents, this channel is only going to be used specifically for that. You know what I'm saying? If you want more, you know what I'm saying, exclusive uh, uh, content, either you get into my Facebook Messenger group, you can do that by simply sending me a friend's request to my Facebook page. My Facebook page is PSTR Michael Smith on Facebook. That's PSTR Michael Smith on Facebook. And I'll add you to the group. Send me that friend because I'll add you to the group. And uh, you can go to the podcast or you can all go to that that Facebook page and all the links to whatever you need on my other all my platforms is gonna be listed on that Facebook page. P S T R Michael Smith on Facebook. Um go ahead, uh, Brother Israel. Uh, I'm reading the uh, Black Wall Street, right? Uh no, we're gonna read the Brianna Taylor, the this the, the the stuff that's going on over there with Brianna Taylor first. Okay. I'm gonna start with this old article from when it happened first. Because uh, because see, this is all uh, orchestrated ritual, people. This is all because uh, we are approaching the hundredth year anniversary. Of Black Wall Street. For all you don't know, if you guys don't know what happened in Black Wall Street, well, you need to go back and research what happened in Black Wall Street. Do you know what happened in Black Wall Street? Why, um, the, our people was destroyed in Black Wall Street? It's because, for one, a white woman was in the elevator and claimed that a bunch of black people have assaulted her, attempted to rape her. And that what initiated the white people to come in and burn down. Actually, they flew planes. I don't know what type of cocktails they had. But they flew planes and they dropped fire and they destroyed the whole city, destroyed the whole people. You know what I'm saying? 
But that's where it started. It started from one white woman. I know you lie people say, oh, that's the that's Emma Tell. No, it wasn't Emma Tell. This is how it started. It started from one white woman in the elevator who claimed that she was assaulted by a couple of black people. And now, vice versa, you got this incident with Breonna Taylor, a black woman who got shot by white cops, which caused what? Black people to rise up to do what? Nothing. Right. Riot, protest, and rioting and protest has never done nothing for us. But go ahead, Brother Israel. This is from USA Today. Um, article headline, what to know about Breonna Taylor's decision. 100 plus arrested in Louisville, protests swept across the U.S. Lawyer says Kentucky uh, Attorney General failed. In the wake of a grand jury decision Wednesday to charge only one officer for shooting into a neighboring apartment in the case of Breonna Taylor protests in Louisville led to more than 100 arrests overnight, including two reporters. Two police officers who were shot are expected to cover and one suspect was in custody. Protesters also took to the streets in Chicago, Milwaukee, Milwaukee. Uh, Connecticut, and Washington, D.C. to express shock and frustration over the lack of homicide charges for the officers. A Kentucky grand jury indicted former Detective Brett Hart Hankinson, and who was fired in June on three felony charges of Wantan, Wantan endangerment. Jonathan Matten, Mattingly and Miles Cosgrove, two other officers of all, were not charged. Taylor, a 26-year-old ER technician, was killed after officers used a search warrant at her apartment shortly after, shortly before 1 a.m. on March 13, looking for drugs and cash, and as part of a larger narcotics investigation connected to her former boyfriend, she was shot six times. Okay, stop right there. Now, this, the police was looking for drugs and stuff in the house because of this black woman's boyfriend. And that's a, th that's a thing that I always tell you black women. Stop choosing these damn thugs and these game bangers and these drug dealers because you choosing these damn low-life Negroes, bringing them into your house, that puts you in danger and that puts... Your kids in danger. Exactly. You had it going good for you as an ER technician. What did you need a drug dealer boyfriend for? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Huh? That like put, that there is a boy. You put you put your life in danger. And to all of you black, because a lot of black women do the same thing. They so hard up for a man that they will choose any old, no good, raggedy ass Negro. You know what I'm saying? Oh, he look good. Oh, he got good sideburns. Oh, he got money. He make money on the block. You know what I'm saying? It is the education of a man. That makes a man. And I'm not talking about this worldly education. I'm talking about scriptural education. I'm talking about a man who keeps these laws, statute, commandments of the most high. Is what makes a man. Not how good he can trap. You putting yourself in harm's way. This for all you black women out there. You know what I'm saying? Breonna Taylor will be alive today if she yet choose the right man in her life. She will be alive today. Because, see, not only this one, you have another incident down in Georgia back in 2006. A real incident. 
But you don't hardly hear nothing about that real incident. A real incident of a no-knock warrant down in Georgia by a a 92-year-old woman by the name of Katherine Johnston. 92 years old. Um, the Atlanta police ran up in her house with a no-knock warrant and got the wrong house. So this Catherine Jackson died because the police chose the wrong house and used a no-knock warrant to do so. But you don't hear that. You don't hear that. Everything is about Breonna Taylor. Now, I got nothing against Breonna Taylor. You know what I'm saying? But I'm looking at the bigger picture. See what I'm saying? They using this particular scene, this particular incident, to do this whole big 100-year anniversary of Black Wall Street. That's what this is all about. That's what, you know what I'm saying? You got the um, George Floyd all about. You know what I'm saying? That's what the all of these police killings this year is all about. It's a whole ritual celebrating the hundred year anniversary. And what was and what was the hundred year anniversary? Putting you Negroes back underneath the foot of your enemy. So by you doing all this protesting and stuff, you falling right along with the enemy because what you're doing, you got no rights. So by you doing this, they know that you are going to take this rioting overboard. You're not going to have no peaceful protest. You, They know you're going to take it overboard. And what does that make you look like? Exactly what they put you out to be what do they put you out to be well Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion a nasty song for nasty women you don't see no other nation of women talking about their sexual conquests to the public like the black woman Tell me, have you, Brother Israel? Yes, sir. Do you see white women talking about they sexual vagina juices to the Damn. world? Like black That's women? Huh? No, not at all. Not at all, right? That would be considered low class for them. Exactly. You don't see the Arab people do it. You don't see no one. Hell, you don't even see the African people. Women do it. You know what I'm saying? And this is, is all about the image. And you guys are putting yourselves back in slavery. I'm telling you, this is a whole ritual. A hundred year anniversary of the um, Black Wall Street. To put you guys back up under your enemy's feet, and they do it by using imagery and using the persona that they already labeled you in the beginning. They labeled the, the black men rough and, you know what I'm saying, dogs and, you know what I'm saying, don't have them around you. Because look at this. You guys can't even protest peacefully. Without doing things to riot and doing things to destroy destructive. You guys can't see this? Go ahead, brother Israel. I'm going to continue on with uh, the Breonna Taylor. Mm-hmm. Matter of fact, um, go to Katherine Johnston. This is New York Times. This is an actual report. This is a real report. This is actually, I pulled up the report uh, around the time it happened. Okay. 2006, an innocent old 92-year-old woman was in her home 
and the police ran up in her home with a no-knock warrant, which happened to be the wrong house, and killed this 92-year-old woman. Where's the protest for this at? Go ahead, Brother Israel. Article headline is Police Kill Woman 92 in Shootout at Her Home. Police officers said they expected to arrest a man who had illegal drugs when they forced open the front door of a house in one of the city's most crime-ridden neighborhoods on Thursday night. Instead, they found a 92-year-old woman holding a revolver. The woman, Catherine Johnston, who neighbors said still did her own cooking and cleaning and had a good sharp mind, was killed. And three narcotics investigators were hit in the face, chest, and arm legs during a shootout after officers knocked open the door. Even though she's 92 years old, she still know how to use her pistol. <laughs> But that was her home. She was defending her home. And they had no right to be going into her home. Because she wasn't selling no drugs. She wasn't no drug dealer. Actually, they got the wrong house. And they got the wrong house from an informant that they used who gave them the wrong information. Go ahead, Brother Israel. Exactly what led to Miss Johnston's shooting has become the subject of highly charged investigation. In a news conference Wednesday, Assistant Chief Alan J. Dreher of the Atlanta Police Department said his officers had returned fire after Miss Johnston shot three of them. Officers Gary Smith, 38, Greg Jr., Junior, 40, and Carrie Bond, 38. And she have every right to because you have the right to bear arms. She was in her home and if she don't, you know what I'm saying? There was a no-knock warrant. You know what I'm saying? She she didn't know who was coming through the door. She was just shooting. You know what I'm saying? She's a 92-year-old woman. On top of the fact they got had the wrong house, so she and, had ever do that. And yet they killed her for pretty much her using her rights. Exactly. So where's the protest for that at? The real incident. You don't hear nobody talking about that. Go ahead, Brother Israel. Each has been with the department more than 10 years. Chief Durer said the officers who were released from the hospital on Wednesday had been placed on administrative leave with pay while the shooting is investigating. The killing of Miss Johnson has outraged her neighbors and family who said she was home alone at the time. Shooting of the time of the shooting and kept the rusty revolver only for self-defense in a neighborhood where drugs are openly traded and another elderly woman was recently raped. They got the wrong house, said Nina D. Robinson, a neighbor, repeating a charge that has been admittedly echoed in conversations at bus stops and subways and cars across the counter in convenience stores around Atlanta throughout the day. They got the wrong house, killed a 92-year-old woman. No knock warrant. You ain't hear nothing about that. You don't hear nothing about that. But you don't, that's why, like never before, alternative media, like Pastor Michael Smith and Brother Israel's media, you know what I'm saying, is mostly needed. Because we shed light on these reports like this. Reports that you don't see. You know what I'm saying, Catherine Johnson had to damn die because damn, they got the wrong house. But yet, you have black people, never mind Katherine Johnston, they rather go after what the media, what their big daddy, big media, put out to be the important um, news report. Now, I'm not saying that uh, Breonna Taylor deserved to die, deserved to get shot, but you got to look over certain situations and handle certain situations in order 
properly. Examine, you know what I'm saying? Look and see, and you know what I'm saying? Some of you women got to look and see Brianna Taylor's situation and correct yourself in your life. See what Brianna Taylor went wrong in her life and look at your life and fix it accordingly. Because this is a whole damn ritual. You know what I'm saying? But, um, okay, let's go ahead and, and hit the Black Wall Street and then we just about wrapping it up. Yeah. Alrighty. Because, this is because that's what this is. It's a whole ritual because it's the 100th, 100th year anniversary of the Black Wall Street. Go ahead. This is ABC 7 Chicago. Article headline, 90th, 99th anniversary of Tulsa race massacre coincides with national protest over death of George Floyd. Whole big ritual, people. This is a whole big ritual, and you guys are playing a part in it. The same way you guys play a part in that Christmas ritual, worshiping that Nimrod tree, in the Easter ritual, worshiping them Easter eggs, you know what I'm saying, and that Easter bunny is the same way you are pay, paying homage and participating in this ritual, too, to put you back underneath because the Most High is raising you up, and the elites is ahead of game to put you back underneath, and you guys can't even see that. Go ahead, Brother Israel. As Americans rage over racial injustice, boils over into a sixth day of protest. Monday also marks the 99th anniversary of one of the worst acts of racial violence in the country has that, that country has ever seen. This anniversary, this year's anniversary of the 1921 Tulsa race massacre comes amid nationwide demonstrations sparked by the death of George Floyd, a 46-year-old unarmed black man who died last week at the hands of a white police officer in Minneapolis, Minnesota. And while Floyd's name, along with his repeated plea, I can't breathe, have been exclaimed by thousands of protesters, the victim's name of the Tulsa race massacre had been rarely spoken as the incident went unmentioned for decades in classrooms across the state. Here's how the massacre, also known as the Tulsa race riot, unfolded. It started with an, an elevator encounter. In the 1920s, the Greenwood District was dubbed Black Wall Street as the community boasted more than 300 Black-owned businesses, including two theaters, doctors, pharmacists, and even a pilot who owned his own private airplane. The success of this Black community, however, caused some white people in Tulsa to become envious and angry, according to Michelle Brown, director of programs at the Greenwood Cultural Center. They commented, how dare these Negroes have a grand piano in their house, and I don't have a piano in my house, Brown told CNN's Sarah Sind Sidner in 2016. The tension reached its tipping point after an elevator incident between a 17-year-old white girl named Sarah Page and a 19-year-old black man named Dick Rowland. His name is Dick Rowland? Yep. He probably wanted to give her some dick. <laughs> he worked as an elevator operator and Roland would use the elevator almost every day. This particular day after the elevator's door closed, Sarah Page and Dick Roland were alone in the ele elevator for a few moments. There was a scream, Brown said. After the elevator doors opened, Roland ran and was later arrested. Page initially claimed that she was assaulted, Brown said. Other historic uh, accounts say Roland tripped leaving the elevator, grabbed Paige's arm, she screamed, and the onlooker went to authorities. While Paige never pressed charges, authorities did. And by the end of the day, rumor was that Paige had been raped. It takes more than a few seconds for a uh, rape to happen. Yeah. Especially if you're fully close. So, nice try, 
and the way people back in those days are really retarded. I'm sorry. Exactly. On May 31st, a group of black and white men confronted each other at the courthouse where Roland was being held after shots were fired or held broke loose. Outnumbered African Americans retreated to Greenwood District, but early morning the next day, a white mob started to loot and burn businesses in Greenwood, according to Tulsa Historical Society and Museum. In a span of just 24 hours, 35 square blocks were burned and over 1,200 houses destroyed. Con- contemporary reports of deaths began at 36, but historians now believe. As many as 300 people died, according to the Tulsa Historical Society and Museum. At the end of the violence, Black Wall Street had been decimated. Photos showed dead African Americans with residents laying in the streets. The scene was recreated in the first episode of the HBO series Watchmen. Uh, and then the next just talks about why it wasn't okay. in the history books and, and stuff. There you have it. And this is why all of this is get taking place this year. Because spiritually, they are doing a ritual to put you back under their feet. See, you was had some type of some source of independence back in Black Wall Street. They jealous. They got mad. So they caused a situation. And after Black Wall Street. What happened? You systematically got put right back where you was. And now they doing that shit again. The Bible said there's nothing new under the sun. Once was before it is again. So wake up people. That protest and shit. You know what I'm saying? Cut it out. You know what I'm saying? You need to get up under a damn, get up under a camp. That's what you need to do. You know what I'm saying? You brothers and sisters who are woken up into the truth, get up under a camp. If you're not up under, you know what I'm saying, Illuminati radio camp, get up under any camp, but long as that camp is not calling on the wrong name. You know what I'm saying? If you want, you know what I'm saying, a ministry, get your butt into class, into my Facebook Messenger group. Bible study every Monday night at 9, o- 9 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. You know what I'm saying? You can get into that group by just, just going and just sending me a friend request to my Facebook page. All the links is over there. P-S-T-R Michael Smith on Facebook. That's P-S-T-R Michael Smith on Facebook. You know what I'm saying? I'll add you to the group and also you'll, you'll find uh, all the links to my other platforms on that Facebook page. Um, this is just a breaking news. You know what I'm saying? This is what we're going to be using this channel for. For now on. Just when we get breaking news stories like this. You know what I'm saying? We're just going to give you the breaking news. Okay. Now I'm your host. I'm your pastor, Mr. Michael Smith. My co-host is Brother Lamig Israel. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I guess if you're new here, you, I guess you can hit that subscribe button if you want. You can hit that like button. Share button, comment boy, if you have any questions or comments. But it's the most important for you to send that friend request to my Facebook page. P-S-T-R, Michael Smith on Facebook, so that you can stay informed and you'll know what platforms that we're on. So that you won't miss no information. Till next time. Stay tuned. God bless you.